Hello, everyone. This is Cassie from Millie. Today, in celebration of Project Moon's five-year anniversary, I will be answering some of your questions with a very special guest. Let's begin. My name is Cassie Wei. I am Chinese Canadian, and I am the vocalist for Millie. Millie is an international indie band. Right now, we have five members, including me, the vocalist, Yukihito, the bassist, Shoto, the drummer, Ao, the illustrator, and Yamato, the composer and guitar. And he is also behind this camera right now. And he is also who I married to last year. Um, I guess you can say we used to be an online band when we first started Millie because I was in Canada and Yamato was in Japan. And but now we all start making music together, and we make music for people all over the world, and we have performed in many countries. We first got an email from Project Moon at the beginning of 2020, and at first they asked uh, me to sing in one of the background music. And but after a few emails, just talking about how we should do this, we realized we both really enjoy each other's works, and we were like, oh, why don't we create a series of original songs for Library of Runa? And so that's how everything began. Um, Yamato already know about uh, Lobotomy Corporation and me after playing Lobotomy Corporation and after reading the game documents for Library of Runa, I was pretty immersed in Project Moon's in unique world. And um, you know, it was kind of like a book of literature, but with more casual mechanics that brings the game to a larger crowd. And I really liked that. And I thought Millie's style of music would be a great match. Another reason why I liked working with Project Moon was because we were both a team of independent creators who build our own branding with our own hands. So um, when we spoke with Project Moon, it was always creator to creator. There's no middleman in between, and that's great. And um, we, while we were strategic, there were a lot of creative freedom for both of us, and I really liked that. And another thing, uh, was that I was flattered when Project Moon told me that they sang our song um, World Execute Me in karaoke. I thought that was really cute. Um, for me, it was string theocracy. Uh, we've never made a jazz song before that. And in, Yamato came from a classical music background and as you know they are basically like the opposite of jazz and it is very difficult for someone to compose a jazz song if they haven't played any jazz instruments before. Uh, so when Project Moon first asked us to make a jazzy opening song for Library of Runa we were, well, we were kind of nervous at first, but it also gave us a reason to challenge ourselves. I don't think we would have ever made a jazz song if not for that. And um, we struggled a bit at first. We made um, three demos before String Theocracy was born, and we asked Mr. Kamada to do the arrangement for us. Now, Mr. Kamada is a pianist and a composer. 
He has played the piano for a lot of Millie's concerts, and uh, he did a wonderful job arranging the song. I think he is the one who gave String Theocracy its catchy, swinging personality. And um, I think this song really opened a new door for us, which led to the completion of Salt, Pepper, Birds, and The Thought Police. Um, Ever since I was a kid, I think I was always fascinated with symbolisms in my English class. Although I don't always agree with my teachers. Um, I guess I find it comforting to know that an object can represent a lot of words that you don't have to say out loud. And um, when writing for Library of Runa, I always made sure to include little motifs or symbols from the game. Uh, but I also made sure that the songs hold a different meaning for people who don't play the game as well. For example, the song from A Place of Love. It depicts the situation Tom Mary was in, but also from a different angle. It tells a story of an undesired marriage and unfavorable gender roles. There were also a lot of symbols with double meaning, such as the string in string theocracy. Uh, the string can control you and limits you, but it also makes life easier for people. You know, you don't have to make any hard choices. And also the string connects you to others, whether that be love or friendship. But the string all is also what connects you to an enemy when you choose to attack them. When I first read the game documents for Limbus Company, I wanted to make the song focus on the concept of time. Because, well, firstly, uh, the clock is the biggest symbol on the logo. But uh, also, when I think about the word bus, I think about traveling and the passage of time. And I I just thought that um, time passes by equally for everyone, but it is up to us to decide if we want to ride a bus to leave and to go to somewhere better, or we can choose to stay at the same spot and not move at all, and time still would pass by. In Hell We Live Lament is created as a duet from the very beginning. I wanted there to be two singers and I wanted to them I wanted them to perform as the same person but from a different timeline. Um, because sometimes over time you change so much that your past or your future might feel like a complete stranger who you don't want any relationship with. In my mind, In Hell We Live Lament is about tolerating yourself, loving yourself, hating yourself, and accepting the love and hate you have for your past and future. You know, it's a song about the ego, I think. And now I would like to introduce our special guest today from Miss Android, Kiho. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kiho. Thank you for coming today. It's great seeing you again. Yeah, so firstly, would you like to tell us who you are and what you do? Okay. 
So um, my name is Kiho, and I'm a vocalist and also a vocalist of Miss Android. I do almost uh, mostly I do singing in Miss Android, and as a solo, I write music and also write lyrics. So today I'm here because me and Cassie together we sang the song "In Hell We Live Lament" for Limbus Company. So let's talk about how we came to collaborate. Um, you first messaged me in 2019, right? Yeah. You followed me on Twitter. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I, I was so happy because mm. back then I have been listening to Miss and Roy for mm. several years then. Okay. So. Yeah, I remember that because mm. um, so since it was 2019, so um, I or Miss and Roy members were um, going. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were doing the performance in other countries many mm -hmm. times in that year, mm -hmm. and like I remember that time that I think I was in the airport. Oh, really? Yeah. And I, yeah, I was looking for the songs to mm -hmm. listen on the airplane, mm -hmm. and I found Millie in that Ooh. time. Yeah, and I, my favorite song is Retort. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that songs, and um, when I heard that song. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the music is really good, but mm -hmm. I thought your voice is like a treasure oh. for all of us. Oh. Yeah, I fell in love with your voice, and um, I thought like, oh, I should know more about her, and mm -hmm. I searched you on Twitter mm -hmm. and followed you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's interesting to hear about. Mm -hmm. Uh, my favorite song from Miss and Roy mm. is Shadowgraph. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like in fact, mm. um, when we first began the production, mm. um, Project Moon sent me mm. Shadowgraph oh. as one of the reference songs, mm -hmm. and I was like, mm, why don't I ask Kiho to sing together? That would be so much fun, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then I started messaging. Uh. <laughs> so. What did you think of the song and what was it like working together? Uh, uh, first of all, the demo was really great. Oh. Yeah. And also, like, uh, you sent me text from mm -hmm. the Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. And I, when I first saw the text mm -hmm. from my iPhone screen, mm -hmm. I was like, and <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I thought, like, um, I'm, I'm so glad that, I, that I'm alive now. Yeah, I felt that oh, in that really? time. Yes, because yeah, I'm yeah, I said that your voice is like a treasure like for all of us and that is for me too. So um, I'm just being like a fan mm -hmm. of your voice oh. yeah, and your music. So I was really glad to do that. And also the recording with you was really special experience for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was fun, right? I was surprised how mm -hmm. um, different our voices sounded, yeah. right? Yeah, like it was my first time doing a duet oh, with someone yeah, too. too. Yeah, like especially on microphones, mm -hmm. it was so different, right? Yeah, we used different microphones. In yes, yeah, it was really interesting experience. And uh, I felt like we had different personalities yeah. in our voices, right? Mm -hmm. They were like completely opposite. Mm -hmm. Kind of like yin and yang, <laughs> right? But yeah, but I think we're a great match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was curious, which part of the song did you like singing the best? Because um, personally, I really liked it when you sang um, "You Step on Fire" and with me, you know, whispering the little notes in the back. Yeah, because um, back then when I was at home writing the song, I was imagining. Oh, Kihoa sounds so good singing this part. Mm -hmm. And when you actually sang it in the studio, I was just like, ah, oh, so much powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, so much more powerful than I had imagined. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really loved that part too. It was really nice melody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the best melody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I also liked the part with the um, Last part's chorus mm -hmm. we did. Do uh -huh. you remember that? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that. The, I don't know how to say in English, but what what do you say? Like a yeah. word that you um, made up? Yeah, yeah, like a made up language, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, I never done that, but mm -hmm. I really lo loved that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was the first time、mm-hmm. me hearing you sing、mm-hmm. in a made-up language, yeah, yeah. and you sounded really good, yeah, right? Yeah, it was yeah. really fun and yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, we sang the cor- chorus together.、Mm-hmm. By the way,、mm-hmm. I heard you had your first solo debut. Oh, thank you! Congratulations! Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, like,、um, how would you like to challenge yourself in the future、mm-hmm. as Kiho?、Um, as Kiho.、Um, I really want to show to my fans that that like who I am、mm-hmm. with the songs,、mm-hmm. and also I want to challenge to do the things that I haven't done with Miss Android songs.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to do that. Oh, like more genres? What? 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 <laughs> John and genre like a genre? Genre? Ah,、uh, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't catch what she said. <laughs> what? What? Genre. <laughs> Yeah, I I, I want to try other things. Yeah, doing my solo. Yeah, I look forward to that. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, I'm so happy for you, Kiho.、Mm, thank you. Yeah, you have all my love、mm. and support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, I hope, of course. Yeah, I hope we can do more stuff together. Yeah, I would love、future. to do that. Yes,、mm-hmm. thank you, Cassie, and thank you guys for watching this video, and thank you for Project Move for having me today. And congratulations on your five-year anniversary! And I look forward for Limbus Company. Thank you so much today. Thank you. Thank you, Cassie. Bye-bye. Bye. I am very excited to see the story, and I'm curious about what kind of connection Limbus Company has with.、Uh, Project Moon's previous works, and、uh, you know that area map at the end of the trailer. I was so excited because I thought that was kind of like the first time I saw the world in such a clear view. Yet、uh, a lot of it remains unknown. And also another thing is that before the game launches. I want to read all of the books that the characters are inspired by. So far, I've only read a few, so、um, I plan to do that before the game comes out. And I find it really funny because usually games keep people away from books, and but Project Moon wants you to read. <laughs> and、um, as for future songs, I really like. The special effects I added in, in at the end of "In Hell We Live" lament. You know, it was the first time for me to just layer on so many different effects, and I think I actually did a really good job. And I, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. So in the future, I, I want to experiment with more vocal effects. And maybe even try adding them in in some of Millie's quieter songs, maybe even classical songs. That would be cool, right? Who knows? Yes, definitely. We would love to perform in South Korea. In fact, the first time we spoke with Project Moon, we talked about holding a concert in South Korea. And you know they were so nice. They invited us to Korea. They even bought us plane tickets, and they were just so generous. And but、um, that was back in February of 2020. And as you know, COVID-19 kind of pushed everything back a little. But we will be going to South Korea, and my heart is with you all. We will go as soon as it is safe to do so. So until then, please stay safe too, and don't let your guard down. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you liked the video. Please look forward to Limbus Company. I get so excited just reading the game documents. You guys are gonna love it. And happy five-year anniversary, Project Moon! You guys are such a team of great minds, and I am so proud to be part of your wonderful creations. I hope the worlds you build reach far and wide to people all around the world. 
again, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Oh, it sounds so good saying this part and when you and when you <laughs> and when you actually sang it it was way more powerful than I imagined oh, really? and I loved it oh. <laughs> I really love love that part too <laughs> that was sort of cut though <laughs> so what would 